Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Nadi, aka Queen Goddess Hope. I am going to show you today how to create your own t-shirt brand in Canva. So I use Shopify because I prefer to use Shopify for everything. It is probably one of my favorite drop shipping stores and as you can see here they have a free trial for three months which is a dollar each month and that's basically what you should do to sign up i'm going to show you in canva first how to create a t-shirt design and la 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 so what we would like to do is click create a design and then i usually just use instagram story because it's like the perfect uh dimension wise for t-shirts and things of that nature oh I didn't want to use t-shirt I mean story sorry my computer's a little slow right now I wanted to use post so basically I have a ton of uploads already and what I decided to do was upload some stickers, as you'll see populating here on the left-hand side. And what I'm going to do is actually put that on to the blank screen, and then I'm going to create a t-shirt design based upon that. So I'm going to go with this one here. And the cool part about Canva is they have tons and tons of paraphernalia on here. So even if I put astronaut, it'll pop up. So I'm gonna create two pages, one for a previous design and one for a new design. I have premium Canva, so my options may be different from yours. And it'll say photos and graphics. So I'm going to click photos because it'll be like a still image. <laughs> Shout out to the homie right here. That's who I want to use. This guy is really popular on a lot of pages. I see him a lot on different things. I don't know why they're not letting me. There we go. So what I'm going to do is click here. I'm going to click edit image. And again, this is a premium feature. Premium, I think is like $12.99 or something like that a month, but it's going to allow me to remove the background, which I adore. It's like my favorite tool ever in life. Um, you're going to also see how it works on the previous. So as you can see now, we just removed, I'm going to click apply. We just removed him. We can shape it. So now I'm going to make him larger. And then I'm going to move it over to have the proper dimension. So you see he's in the middle now. And then I'm just going to go to filters. And you can click the different filters. As you can see, it changes. So now if I was putting this on my website, I would just keep it with either festive or none. And I really like the way this looks. I mean, it has like a decent background. If I want to put it on like a black shirt or something like that, it would be just fine. Now I'm going to go back to my original picture. Oh, that added here 3,072 times. I'm going to go back to my original picture, which is a sticker. I'm also going to click edit image here. Remove background once again. And once this clears, it's going to basically clear the background and it should leave only the sticker option. Ta-da. And click apply. Once again, click a filter, see if the filters spice it up a little bit, which it does a little. I'm probably gonna go with festive. It looks a little brighter. than anything else and I'm going to shorten that up and make it larger
Then from here, I'm just going to say Astro T Design. I'm going to do Share, Download. Now, the key thing about this is I'm going to increase the size. That's just me. I'm going to keep it at PNG, but you want to make sure that you click a transparent background. Once again, it's almost imperative just to have this uh, premium feature because as you can see, it has the crown here. So I use Canva how I need to use it. Um, I have like over 250 designs in here. I use Canva every single day. So it's it makes sense for me to have a premium version of Canva so that I'm not limited to my selections. Like there are so many different other options of, I don't even know why I have Christmas stuff on here is not astronautish, you know, just so many different other options on here for us to use. That would be cool for space. But as you can see, it has like different backgrounds and things of that nature. So those things wouldn't be good for T-shirts because they're not going to print on a shirt unless if you're kind of making it like a box. And that's basically <laughs> this is fire that I'm going to use this for a photo shoot. Um, it's going to save in that way. You know what I mean? So once again, I'm going to click download, going to increase that transparent background and I'm going to click download that's actually coming up I forgot about that so it creates a zip file I'm going to click on the download of the zip file and now I have my two options here so we have one as you can see it has the transparent background for both and what that is going to be able to do is for us to add it onto our Printful page. So I'm going to open up Shopify. Now I'm going to just act like I'm just going to log in because I have stores that have already been active and set up and da 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 da, -da and active. Let's see if I can go on here. I just stopped paying for this store. Yeah, my trial ended. <laughs> Let's see if we could do that. I really just want to go to Printful. Printful.com. I don't even want to start a new store right now. Oh, boom. So I'm already logged in from my store. So that's fantabulous. And what I'm going to do is I like to create templates because when you create a template, you automatically get to have these things saved. So if I ever want to buy them for myself, if I just come up with ideas that I don't want to push to the store or, you know, I'm doing exactly what I'm doing now, just there are products in here that I've already created that I've never put out before. So, you know, it's just like a whole bunch of concepts and a whole bunch of ideas and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to create product I'm going to do like a unisex tee so we're just going to do all shirts and you see here this is the actual course of the garment and then you'll see like the review so most people like Bella and Canvas I do too I like the quality of their tees and it's usually pretty soft. You can get a whole bunch of washes out of them. I'm not a fan of Gildan because years ago they had like some racism issues and I'm not into that so I'm very selective about who I use as a supplier so now it depends on what you want to do here you have to think about do you want to put this shirt on the internet for $14.99 because now you understand that it costs $9.99 to buy this shirt and maybe you don't care if Gildan 
has like some racism issues, which is fine, but it all depends on what you're trying to do. So for me and my brand, I prefer better quality teas. So nine times out of 10, I'm going to stick with um, like Bella and Canvas is my jam. Lately, I've been using eco-friendly as well. So as you can see, the cost for that is more. So I'm going to make sure that I have a better, you know, quality tea, but I'm also going to put the actual price high enough so that I'm not running into any issues. Now, next level teas are also really good. I like next level. Um, but the only issue is like, if you see this is on clearance, it's more than likely for a specific color. So this looks like a bone color or something in black. Yeah, I see like neutral and black. So more than likely it's this neutral color that's on clearance. And the cool thing about that is like, it'll be lower for now, but you have to be careful about if it's going to sell out. Like, let's say they only have 300 available. And once that 300 sells, then it's a wrap. All right, so let's just go back. I'm just going to use this bestseller tee. It's $12.95. $12 I could sell the shirt for $19.99 and get like a markup. So as you can see, this shirt here has different options. You could put it on your left chest. You could put it on the center chest. Um, and it has like this embroidery option or a director garment printing option. So now the cool thing about director garment, as you can see, it'll be the whole exact thing. It's the type of printing that is used. So this tee, the price ranges from $13.55 to $21.55. Usually that has something to do with what you're adding. So because I use hashtag free as fuck as my brand, I'm always going to choose an inside label. Like no matter what, like we can't get around that. I'm always going to put free as fuck on the inside. So this is on the outside, which is dorky, but either way, I would still put a design here. So because as you can see, I've already used this thing a bazillion times, I'm going to put hashtag free as F on here some way, somehow. So usually I just use here, this says embroidery, but it doesn't have to necessarily be. And this one isn't the right one because it doesn't have the trademark symbol on there let's see I don't even see the trademark symbol on here hmm I did a Zodiac cup for the holiday, which is why you see all of those on here. I don't even see trademark. Forgive me for going through this super duper fast. I'm just going to put this here and just call it a day just for the sake of time. And then I'm going to go back to the front of the shirt. So we're going to click and we're going to do upload a new file and we're going to go into the zip file that we used. So I'm going to upload both just so we don't have to do it later. And it should come in here. And as you can see, the percentage here, increasing, decreasing. So we got homie here who's mad cool. And where's the other pal? Tida. I like him. So I'm going to put him on this shirt and let's see what happens. We recommend using a larger image. It'll give you a better quality. So as you can see here, this gives you like average print. Nine times out of 10, they'll tell you. So like the larger image isn't good because it's too big and it'll probably be like pixelated on there. But then if you increase or decrease the size, as you can see, 
the print quality changes from average to good. So you can play around with that and see how good of a quality. So I'm going to run for 132. And I would like to change the color of the T. So right now, this says it's Heather Black. So I love Heather Gray, but this is Heather Black. So it kind of looks like it has like specks in it, but you can just go for just black, which you can see the difference in the color there. So you got Heather Gray, you got black. I feel like I want to put him on blue because free as fuck is blue. And I like the way that actually looks. So we're going to rock with him. I'm annoyed that the inside label is not letting me put free as fuck, but it's on the outside. So I'm going to rock with that. And then... As you can see, it says like the front price is included. The outside label is an additional $249. So, and then here we could see how it looks on the black once again. And that's it. So now we created a unisex shirt. And you can change this to number one astro because he's throwing up the one sign and i'm put add sizes you can select all sizes and that also has something to do with your sizes because usually the larger sizes they increase like a dollar or something like that number one astro t so i'm going to save product template so now as you can see here this is added to the store so now add it to my template here but if I want to add it to my store and as you can see here in one moment I have three two three store options but I have two stores currently active I have my Etsy shop and then I also have my Shopify store so if I want to add this to my Shopify store I would just actually push this item to my store so I would just do add to store and it would ask me, like, do you want to add it to your Balance Me Now store or do you want to add it to Queen Goddess Hope, which is BU times two dot com. So now I'm going to act like I want to do that. And it once again gives me the option of the colors that I would like to use. Um, sometimes you got to be careful because I'm big on like color concepts and the way things look. So I try to keep the color simple like I wouldn't put this on a white shirt because the guy is obviously you know in an all white outfit and frankly I wouldn't use him because my Martian is looks more like the other one than this one so it's telling you that these variants have colors discontinued so these sizes wouldn't be pushed to the store for this blue color so extra small and extra large 5X is not available in the royal color, but the black has no issues, so you're perfectly fine. So now we're going to proceed to mock-ups, which is amazing because mock-ups are my fave. You get to pick the view, you get to pick the human, you get to pick the type, the, whether if it's like a live, you get to choose pretty much anything that you want. So I usually like to keep it simple. People are always like, what do you use for the mock-ups, this, that, and the third? And I'm like, uh, they come on my screen already. So I would probably usually choose like a flat mock-up and I would just choose like a regular main picture and maybe like one guy or something like that. So this is a new person. I don't like the way she looks, no offense. But like, that would be cool. I like him because he got the tattoos on, and I, that's really, like, who really rocks my stuff. And then if you see in the back here, it just has free as fuck. So, yeah, I like the way this looks. So he's my first option, and then I'm going to go in the back and pick additional. So I'm going to pick this as an option. And I like the way this looks flat. And then maybe a chica. I'm going to do a back too. 
close up. Is there a guy wearing the blue one? Yeah. There is. Maybe I'll do that. All right. So now I'm going to do proceed to details. So best thing about Canva and the best thing about Printful is that it just makes everything so much easier. So now I'm going to name this guy number one Astro T. Number one Astro T. Everybody knows it's free as fuck. So standard description. This t-shirt is everything you've dreamed of and more. It feels soft and lightweight with the right amount of stretch. It's comfortable and flattering for all. And it gives you all the details. Now, I've been also adding this as an informational FYI because on Printful, you can create your own invoices. You can create your own shipping um, inserts, you know, like everything. So I also add this to let people know like, hey, this is all print on demand. So I don't have these things just sitting in bulk in a warehouse. I haven't had to spend the money in the beginning to purchase the product. Like this is just all here already for me. And when somebody purchases something from the store, I now have it where it's automatic. So they just take the money out of my account. The person who originally ordered it will receive emails. Like I don't have to do anything, which is amazing. So, you know, you have the metric system here and you can see the sizes and so on and so forth. This will automatically go onto the website. I usually just leave the Imperial because these are like everyday average sizes. Um, and then here I just always do free as F because that's the website. Um, I usually do Astro, Astronaut. Um, number one and number one and then um the blue Martian and then it's going to ask me which collection do I want to put it in so now my store has been around for almost 10 years now. So this has every single collection I've ever had for my stuff. So at one point I had my YouTube channel. I have wholesale products. One time I didn't decide to use a link tree. Instead, I've created my own link tree on my website. So I called it the QGH portal, eBooks, just consulting services, everything. So because we do everything right now, we only have one line of clothing. So we do, we call it free as fuck classics. So I'm going to push this to free as fuck classics and I'm going to proceed to pricing. And it's going to ask you, how much do you want to sell this product for right now? Your T based upon the size chart. It will range from $15 all the way up to $23.44. If you leave your product at $17 up to $26 for each T, this will be your revenue for each one. Now, for me, since this is stamped with my brand, which is a recognizable brand, we're going to sell this at least for $24.99 at a minimum. It's simple. I didn't have to brand it too, too heavy. You know, I just put it on there so that you know that it's my product, but it's a super simple design. It's nothing super duper fancy. I didn't have to go ham creating it. In fact, it took me 2.2 seconds to create it. So I'm okay making this at least $19.99 because it's not my typical Blue Martian. It ha does not have my company logo on it. It's just a super simple shirt, which could be affordable for anybody. So at a minimum, I would like to make at least $10 off of this shirt. So I'm going to make this shirt $24.99. And as you can see, it's going to tell you the, the range of profit margin. So now because we're getting into 2x, 3x, 4x, you know, 5x, you see it says only $2, which is just outrageous to me. So 
I'm going to make these $26.99. And then I'm going to make 5X $29.99. And as you can see, it has the size charts and it changes the price. Why does the range or the profit margin not matter? Well, nine times out of 10, people who are buying my clothes, more than likely, they're in between the small to 2X range. So like I said, I want to make at least $10 off of this shirt. So I'm going to make $10 off of every shirt right here. So no matter what, I'm going to make my target profit margin. And not trying to be greedy or anything like that, but... Shipping from Printful is generally about $3.99. Like they create their own pricing for shipping. I don't have to worry about it once again. So I'm not worried about making money off of shipping and I don't have to go out of my way to ship the products. So if I'm simply making $10 off of each, I'm perfectly okay with that. So now this is going to say submit to store. Overcharge and ship and steals to the average dependent card. Okay, so the point is it says add it to store. So now what I'm going to do is show you that it's added to my store. And I'm going to hope to God that it went directly to where I needed it to go. So bu times two.com. Here is my store. And right now, I'm only focusing on one product, which is right here. And then we have like reviews for the clothing, a blog that we do, our core values. And then it's here, Free as F Classics. So now, I wouldn't suggest that you do that. It's just that people know where to find the stuff so it doesn't hinder sales. Fact is, like, we have all of these things. So as you can see, anything that has, like, my company standard logo, we're going to charge for. You know what I mean? So, like, this has the Martian on it, so we charge for. This has the Martian on it, so we charge for. But hopefully this is somewhere. Here we go. So we put number one Astro T, as you can see here. It provides a custom URL here. And now, as you can see, it has $24.99. It gives you that same exact description. It has the homeboy with the tats on. It has the size chart. It has the two color options and up to 5XL. And as you can see, I want you to point out, it says $24.99 USD for because the automatic is extra small. Now we're gonna go into 5X and as you can see, the price automatically has adjusted to that. So it gives you your options for your store. I set these payment options up so people can have whatever type of option they wanna pay with. So as you can see, Shop Pay, Amazon Pay, PayPal, Google Pay, Meta Pay, um, you can pay with a credit card, you can pay with whatever you want. So I'm just gonna go back to the product here. So that now if I wanna click on the photos, you can, you see it here and you can see, this looks so cute, I might have to buy one. Now you have him here, free and Zef. And that is that. So did you learn something today? As you can see, it all started from this and ended with this. I hope you learned something. Peace.